What's Eastern Guild of Grape is a really interesting film. I watched it because I love Johnny Depp. I'll be honest. I don't think that had he not been in it, I would have ever watched it. Because I don't know if it ever would have came on my radar. I can't really think of a time when I would have heard of it otherwise. That's probably more my problem than it is the film's problem, of course. But although I like it, I can't quite pinpoint why. So if you're a fan of this film and you have a specific reason for liking it, maybe you enjoy the narrative development or the character personalities, you know, let me know. See if you can kind of analyse why I like it. But there's just something about it that I think, I think it just ticks all of the right boxes. It's got an interesting premise. It's very well executed. The characters are certainly well developed. And Johnny Depp gives a great performance. So why there's not one thing that I thought was amazing, like the narrative for me is not always my kind of narrative. The characters are not my kind of characters. But I think just the whole package is presented very well. This was released in 1993, directed by Lassie Holstrom and um, written by Peter Hedges based on the novel What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Haven't read the novel, can't compare it. If you do know how it compares, you know, feel free to let me know. A very well received film with 7.7 .7 out of 10 on IMDb across a quarter of a million reviews. So definitely a very big achievement. Stars, of course, as I said, Johnny Depp as Gilbert Grape with Leonardo DiCaprio, a very young and adorable um, DiCaprio as Arnie. Uh, we also have Juliette Lewis as Becky and Darlene Cates as Mama. And John C. Riley is also in it. Crispin Glover is in it. A really great supporting cast. No issues there at all. I don't have any issues with this film, let's be honest. And the description from IMDb is as follows. A young man in a small midwestern town struggles to care for his mentally disabled younger brother and morbidly obese mother while attempting to pursue his own happiness. Basically, it's about a man who's got all of these problems weighing on his shoulder and, you know, it's a time when he should be able to spread his own wings and fly and enjoy his own life and experience the world. But he's got to care for his younger brother. Um, as Obviously, his mother struggles to care for the younger brother because she is morbidly obese. And I have to say, this is, I don't know if this is going to be a controversial opinion, but I'm so pleased that there's a character in this who is morbidly obese. I have to, because it's very rare that characters are even created for actors who are larger. Um, quite often they are the comic relief and they are larger, but to be morbidly obese is not something that you see in films. And the fact that she's a central point of the narrative and not something that's just being poked fun of, I really, really appreciate that and respect that. Because the... I know it's based on the novel, of course, but they could have done anything. You know, they could have had the mentally disabled brother and then, uh, I don't know, if, if their mother could have died and he could have had to look after a tiny baby or something. I don't know. They could have done anything with it. And I really kind of appreciate what they've done there. I think it's very effective. The narrative does develop very well. I think it goes from A to B to C very smoothly. Nothing feels forced. Gilbert Grapes you know, responses to things and the way he reacts to certain situations feels very natural uh, and kind of what I would have expected from that character. The character development is a joy to watch. In terms of the genre for this, it's definitely a drama. There are occasion, a few occasions where I feel like there's a little bit of comedic relief, but it's definitely more serious than it is not. But that being said, it's not depressing like, although it's dealing with something that's perhaps quite a serious issue, a lot of people are in a similar situation where they are, you know, supposedly at an age where they can go off and explore who they are, but they have these responsibilities. Um, it's quite a serious thing, but it's not depressing completely. It, it, it handles that very well in a way that doesn't just feel like you're dragging your way through it. It was nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor in a Supporting Role, to DiCaprio needless to say we know that that was not awarded at that time but it has won eight awards I think it's done very well for itself personally I'm very happy to recommend it it's not one of those films that I could watch again and again and again um but it's one that I would happily watch again in the future once I've kind of maybe forgotten some of the key plot points or just you know I don't remember it very well because my memory is pretty bad I will forget things quite quickly which works to my advantage when there's a film that I really like and want to watch it again um so that works well for me I do recommend it absolutely if you like Johnny Depp I think you'll really love it as much as I enjoyed the film it doesn't even make my top 50% of Johnny Depp films but it's still absolutely fantastic definitely worth watching <laughs>